Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. Today I am starting off Mass Effect 2 because, well, we finished the first one. So we might as well continue with the second one and see where we go from here. Uh, we're just going to wait for some people to file in before we get started. So I just want to give a quick shout out to Cobalt Comet one for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. N7 underscore Darkstar gave me a follow as well between last stream and tonight. Thank you so much. It is much appreciated. Hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. I'm excited to see where Mass Effect goes from here because... Where we last left things off, I feel like uh, we did as well as we could have. Hey there, Gen X Dad Gaming. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well where you are. And Tech Game 331. Nice name. Yes! Now you're all cut up for this uh, next step in our adventure. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well where you are in your neck of the woods, uh, with it being Halloween yesterday. Hopefully, however you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed it. I My trick-or-treaters came so early yesterday. It was like by the time it was slowing down, I looked at the time, and I'd canceled stream because I figured I was going to be giving out candy to kids most of the night. No, by like 7.30 they were done. I came back upstairs after packing up everything, and it's just like, dang, I guess maybe I could have streamed tonight, huh? <laughs> Oh, thank you for the sub, Gen X Dad Gaming. It is much appreciated. Thank you so much. A good way to start off November. Thank you. And Gabsby, welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well where you are. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens with Mass Effect 2. I know we get some new characters, some old characters coming back, some new ones. So I, I'm assuming I would just start on this one through the Legendary Edition and it just carries into it. I'm assuming it's it's pretty seamless that way. Ah, nice, you got Prime. That's always good. From Brazil said, a much spookier Halloween. Th yes, yes, I was uh, I was keeping an eye on those results as those, uh, it, was, it was getting really close there for a bit. So uh, hopefully things are doing well where you are. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. It'll, that's the thing for as much as I want to like do my own research and see like oh like how does how would the game start off differently if you decided to sacrifice the council and like side with the alliance or it's like I, I can't yet I don't know like I'm still I'm still keeping spoilers at arm's length I don't want to chance it so I'm just gonna have to wait yes so far, it's been a lot calmer than I expected. That's good. That's never a bad thing. And hey there, Kay. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well tonight. And Timmy, welcome back to the stream. Oh, we got a full house tonight. This is great. I'm excited. I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Oh, actually, so speaking of Halloween, there are things from ME1 that go all the way to the end of ME3. Okay. I know some people have said it. Nope. Nobody spelled out exactly which decisions have sort of what they'll mean. I know I made certain decisions at the end of ME1 that I'm curious to see how those will reverberate. Gonna have to just wait and see. Working on my quiz while watching this. Ooh, that's a... That's daring. Best of luck to you on your quiz. I hope it's going well. I have one... I have a couple of classes that do quizzes this semester, and it's like one of them, super easy. The other one, like, I, I get... Like, I break out in a cold sweat. I've already had three of them. I've got another one coming up next week, and I'm, like, already sweating. <laughs> hey there, JJ. Welcome back to the stream. I hope you're doing well where you are tonight. Uh, but, yes, yeah, speaking of Halloween, just real quick, because I think I mentioned it in the last stream. I know I mentioned it on the Discord about uh, Simpsons, how they did, like, a big, like, Death Note reference in, like, their halloween treehouse of horror for this year now it has been it has been a hot minute since i watched any newer treehouse of horror i try to make it like a tradition where i watch at least like the first couple of them every like leading into halloween because the old ones are classics like in the very first one you got james earl jones it's fantastic but but because i do like death note it's one of it's one of my old favorites i was like okay i mean they're doing a parody of Death Note. It's being animated animated by the same studio that did the Death Note anime. Let's check this out. It was pretty cute. It was it was cute. 
You were sick all weekend. Oh no, Gabsby. I hope you're feeling better. I will say if you were curious to check out that Treehouse of Horror, it's pretty good. I'd recommend it. I will say the f it's uh it's three bits. The first one is the weakest. It's not terrible. It's just not as strong. The second one is the Death Note one, but but I just want to say if you like classic Simpsons, like like old school Simpsons, the ones that are quoted every watch the third one. Stick around after the Death Note one and watch the third one. It's it's got some treats in there. I was I was quite tickled by it. I would recommend it. Watch Barbarian last. A couple of people have mentioned Barbarian to me. I don't know anything about it, but everybody said it's quite good. You're on the mend. That's good to hear. There's a lot of colds and flus going around, so and some of them are nasty too, so I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. But uh, yeah, some of them stick around too. I know a couple of people who still have like some bad like chest coughs that are just like refusing to go away. Thankfully, mine didn't last for too long, but some people had it for like a solid month. It's nuts. Oh, Zach from the Ways Kids You Know wrote and directed it. Liked it a lot. Oh, I love Zach. Oh, okay. I might have to check it out. Somebody mentioned it. Actually, it was in my class yesterday. Somebody mentioned The Barbarian, and they said that there was an episode where a certain actor showed up in, like, episode four, I think, and, like, that they completely lost interest after that point. So, I mean, I was morbidly curious, but I, I haven't checked it out yet, I gotta say. Heard it's good. Haven't seen it. Still have a chest cough worse than last week. Oh no. Let lots of hot drinks. Try and get your rest. Don't watch the trailer. Going in blind is more fun. Oh, you know, I, you know, I love those. I try to do that more. For as much as it's like I would like to do research on something going into it to know if it's worth my time, there is something to be said for going into something blind. Like there's a lot of fun in that. And it is 7:30. It's time for us to get started. I feel like our little chit chat session went a little bit uh, faster than usual. So I've I've touched up the settings a little bit, just pre getting started tonight. So I'm just gonna go over those super quick. So I think graphics wise we're okay. We're good. Calibration. Yeah, I don't. I changed the brightness a little bit, but I had to buy a keyboard because my computer's keyboard. It's not Brazilian formatted, so writing in Portuguese is a pain. Ooh. It's, that's a tricky thing, and it's like, and you want to be as quick as possible on the keyboard as well, so, yeah. All right, made some minor adjustments to the sound. Controls. Yep. I'm just doing a quick check before we get started. I turned, I believe that the subtitles are on. I imagine the controls are pretty much the same. Keeping it on normal difficulty. Leveling up is off. Well, the auto is off. It's quite power usage. Subtitles are on, autosave is on. So I should be able to start this and we should be good to go, if I'm correct, right? Like, it, new game, new game? Had your booster yesterday, was knocked out for most of Halloween. Ooh. That's the thing. I got my booster and I was fine, but some people just like just they're conked out for the rest of the day. I I in my experience and talking to other people as well, hopefully you are feeling better cuz I know within like 24 hours typically you start to feel better. It's like a 24-hour flu almost. But hopefully you didn't have anything too serious. Remember two things about this game. One is how it starts, the other is a certain character. Okay, so the beginning of the game is memorable. All right, because people have been saying, oh, we're starting. It's like, well, yeah, it's a new game. It's like, is there something else here I don't know about? Okay, so I should be able to hit new game and it'll carry over, correct? The start, oh no. Oh, here we go, import. There we go. Level 53. I actually didn't know off the top of my head what level I was at. It'll give you options. Yeah. All right. Let's import. Yep. Here we go. Yes, I... Yes, I've been over this. Ooh, I can change it. Status... What? Hold up. Missing in action. Yeah, Froggy Shepherd. That's correct. Rank 53. 
Vanguard, yes. Paragon, yes. I, I tried to follow it as much as I could. I know I, I slipped here and there, but for the most part, Paragon. Rex survived the mission on Vermeer. Yes, he did. Hey there, Architect1982. Welcome to the stream. Yes, Caden was unfortunately killed on Vermeer. Uh, the council was saved. Yes, I made the uh, controversial call. Apology a while back. Think it might have been from your playthrough of the Forgotten City. Oh, don't think I chatted yet. Thought I'd drop in and say hello. Well, welcome to the chat. Here, I just want to make sure I'm saying this correctly. Munana. Munana, welcome to the chat. I hope you're doing well tonight. Getting ready to kick off uh, Mass Effect 2 here. And our council seat, Commander Shepard recommended Captain Anderson, Keith David, my dad, as having a seat on the council, as opposed to the ambassador. Because, I mean, Anderson stuck, or, yeah, he stuck out his neck for me. So, let's continue. Let's see where we go from here. <laughs> By the way, new game disclaimer, if anything needs adjusting, if you're finding the sound needs to be louder, quieter, please let me know in the chat. I will make the adjustments. Ooh, there's more guessing the voice actors. Okay. Hmm, pretty. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. Hey. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Isn't it? Geth. <laughs> we both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. Okay, somebody believes me then. And it's up to us to stop them. Who is that? The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, Ooh. even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see cigarettes? to it that we don't lose her. This is some cool eyes. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the Galactic community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity membership into their prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all organics... That's a lot. I read fast. That's... I'll have to pause that later and read that. <laughs> Things are getting dicey. I'll just, I'll take it at that. All right. Things are doing well in the Normandy. Disengage yeah, I gotta read drives. a lot faster. Joker's still Mission here. Mission active. Board is green. We are running silent. He sounds super familiar. Like it's on the tip Four of my tongue. Day searching up and down this sector and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Oh, is that still a uh, Dwight Schultz there? Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to him. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Okay. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't hmm. match any known signatures. I don't trust it. I don't trust cruiser it. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's okay. not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers. They kill Presley. Presley? <laughs> Ensign. Multiple hull breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. Oh, this is not looking good. My ship. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Me and my girlfriend. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. 
Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. Of course he I'm won't. not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard. Liara, go. Now. Aye, aye. There she goes. Everybody in! Go, go, go! Doctor... Yes! That I knew. That's what a mess that situation's turned into, huh? Okay, we got the escape pods out. Alright, doing okay. Captain goes down with her ship, I guess. Go to the cockpit, get Joker to the Save him on Come on. Yeah, I know. This is the Kobayashi Maru, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> it's okay. We're fine. Do I have to... I was like, am I fatigued? Jeez. Okay. Shouldn't I shouldn't dawdle too much. <laughs> Don't look up. Yeah, we're, uh... Just a minor hull breach, not a big deal. Yeah, can't run in mag boots apparently, so gotta just uh, take it as we go. Joker. Joker. Come on, Joker. Oh, good. He's we good. Have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I'll, I'm I always down for her. Star Trek references. Always. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around. Gotta for piggyback with them. Ooh. Ah, watch the arm. What well, you're about to blow up if you don't get up. Come on. We gotta go. All right. Did I just throw him into the fire? <laughs> oh no. Commander. Shepard. <laughs> My ship. Oh, do we lose Joker? Oh, my ship. Oh, I'm leaking. Ah, crud. Oh, yeah, I must have whacked something there. Look at that. Yeah, unless I get scooped or transported or the paragon. <laughs> hey. Uh. Mass Effect 2. <laughs> oh, such a great game. It was a long game, though. Interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Would you like to review the story so far? Ah, uh, we probably don't need it. I think we're probably good. That is true. The opening did, in fact, blow me away. Yeah, like, we don't... We know where we're at, right? We finished it, like, a week ago. Still pretty fresh. Reaper's bad. Saren's dead. Council's fine. Alliance... Commander mm. Shepard has been recovered. <gasps> We can rebuild her? 
The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. We can rebuild her. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, Lazarus Pit. Project Lazarus. I can have, like, a weird robotic golem body, like in Picard. Am I gonna get hated on? Because now I'm like, now you're the machine. Missing in action. <gasps> Lazarus Project. Ooh. Can I... Can I change it? Okay. Do I get more options in this one? Because ideally, I would like to change her hair. So there's the default one. Custom appearance. Like, do I get more options in this? For customization? You can? Okay. Okay. I'm hoping it'll let me... Okay, so it's... It's more or less the same face modeler. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh... Hmm. Now we can look up the code from the first game. Go for... You know what? We'll, we'll keep it consistent. Froggy Shepherd is going to continue to look as she does. I would have liked to have given her longer hair. There weren't really any good long hair options in the first one. That was the only thing that was kind of... Don't mess with perfection. You know what, though? L looking at her from the front, she looks fine. But it's in cutscenes, her mouth is very wide. <laughs> I feel like she has a bit of a wide mouth. I don't know. It's not a new option. Okay. I don't think there's much. You know what? With the helmets, that's understandable. Because then they have to, like, factor in that. It was a lot of ponytails, which... I like ponytails, but... Nose is a bit weird. Yeah, a little bit. It's it's quite straight. Long in the mouth. <laughs> that is true. Having that those gorgeous flowing locks would be great. So I think we'll we'll keep the except imported face option. We'll we'll keep her the same. Uh, ooh. Choose class enhancement procedure. Let's see. So we were Vanguard before. Ooh, but let's look at these. High-level operatives are outfitted with ocular synaptic processors that allow them to focus on targets with le lethal accuracy. <laughs> we did it because we could. We've also strengthened her spine so she can hold him up and run. I just want to look and see what the other options are. I'm probably going to continue with Vanguard, but I just want to check and see what else we have. Power training, adrenaline rush, concussive shot, weapon training, ammo training. Soldiers are pure combat specialists. No one is tougher or more effective at taking down enemies with gunfire. Soldiers have the most thorough weapons training, can use all special special ammo types. Oh, that <laughs> is the opening. No worries. We haven't gotten too far yet. You've got time. Yeah, I'm probably going to continue with Vanguard. Let's see. Infiltrators are equipped with cloaking systems that allow them to avoid detection for short periods of time, granting a tactical advantage over enemies. Useful? Probably not gonna do it, though. Infiltrators are tech and combat specialists with the unique ability to cloak themselves from visual and technological detection. Infiltrators are deadly at any range with a wide variety of weapons, equipment, and powers that can take down any enemy. Tactical cloak, incinerate, AI hacking. Useful. Sniper rifle, heavy pistol, submachine gun. Okay, cryo and disruptor. Vanguard. Vanguards are outfitted with L5N implants, enabling them to perform a biotic charge that strikes the opponent with incredible force while bringing the Vanguard in close for short range combat. Biotic charge, pull, shockwave, that's pretty useful. I mean, I was one in ME1, so that's why it's sort of, I'm. I'm probably going to be continuing with it. I don't know what the rest have to offer, if I'm being honest. Hey there, Olaf. Happy post-Halloween to you as well. I hope you're doing well. Incendiary and Cryo. Vanguards are feared for their high-risk, high-reward combat style. Closing quickly on enemies and destroying them at close range with weapons and biotic abilities. Sentinels are equipped with the most advanced ablation armor system to keep themselves safe. 
If overloaded, the system will stun all enemies within a short distance. Oh, that's where you get charged. Okay. Power training. Tech armor, throw, warp, overload, cryoblast. Yeah, some of these I'm not familiar with. Or they're like modifications on stuff I already know from the first game, so I'll be curious to see how they work in this one. Sentinels are unique, bringing both tech and biotic abilities to the battlefield. While they lack the focus of adepts and engineers, they are versatile and can handle any situation. I think I picked Sentinel... Did I pick Sentinel when I started the first one? It feels like forever ago. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. Uh, adepts are outfitted with L5X implants that can spawn a micro-singularity, damaging enemies and pulling them into the air. Useful. Engineer first playthrough, Sentinel in the second one. Okay. Ooh, actually, I've still got some leftover chocolate. It's, I've been trying not to eat it all day. I have not succeeded. <laughs> Okay, Singularity, Warp, Throw, Pull, Shockwave, Heavy Pistol, Submachine Gun. Okay. They're biotic specialists capable of disabling and killing enemies with raw biotic power. While they lack advanced combat training, they are the best at defeating enemies without firing a shot. Useful. Engineers can spawn combat drones to harass enemies or force them out of entrenched cover positions. Still a submachine gun. Engineers are tech specialists, the only class able to employ combat drones on the battlefield. Engineers are the most effective class at blasting through enemy defenses and disabling opponents. Okay, I don't know why this was here, but you know what? We're gonna continue with Vanguard. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it consistent. We'll go Vanguard. Froggy Shepard is a spacer, a war hero and of the Vanguard class. Let's go, once you confirm it's unable to change, that's fine. I will accept the consequences. Yeah, on the monitor, something's wrong. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Yes, I can hear you. Oh my God, Miranda. Hey there, Chrono, 5610, welcome to the stream. Damn it, Watson, she's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard. Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> I know, right? It was like, hello. I told you Run the numbers again. <laughs> yeah, mommy. <laughs> sorry, mommy. Sorry. Wake up, Commander. Ooh, my face is all cracked. Do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. <laughs> doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it, keep your head down, Shepard. Shield Airy. yourself from the blast. Ooh, hello. All right. Okay. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Thermal clip. Oop. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. All right. W space bar default. Okay. Alright. 19 renegade points. Oh no! I don't even know what I'm doing. What was that? Oh. Can I pick that up? Nope. Okay. Shepard, security makes a closing in on your position. Oh, jeez. There we go. Nice work, okay. Shepard. Coast is clear. 
Oh. There we go. All right. Actually, here. Good, I can do the pause still. <laughs> I'm just catching up on what you guys are saying, because I'm like, ah, what am I doing? Reload so you can pick it up. Okay. And it automatically picks up if you need more. Feels punchier. Okay, can I run back and get some more? There's some around. Can I run back? I'd like that ammo, please. There we go. Alright, we're still doing okay. We've got ammo in all directions. Okay, anything in here? Nope, okay. Just checking, checking my surroundings. Actually, what do I got here? Okay, I got charge. It's through armor, sets enemies on fire, damages health, okay. No meta gel. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Uh, Holy. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mix distracted for long. Oh, that's not good. Ah, crap. More reinforcements heading your way. Here. Okay. Move your mouse over the weapon bar and then grenade launcher. Okay. There it is. Okay. It's a grenade launcher to take them out. Okay. Come the mix. Take the elevator down one floor. Okay, I'm switching. I'm switching back to pistol there. <laughs> you know what? I prefer the grenade launcher. This is fun. I'm liking this. Yeah. Um, would have preferred. Get to the door. Run. Okay. There we go. Okay, you run. You're doing fine, Chef. Head to the next room and I'll try to meet you. Only has a few shots. Yeah, I've only got one left. Chef, here. What? What was that? No. Okay. <laughs> that is true. Now I know. Shepherd. Jepper! Yes. Hello. No! No! <laughs> oh, we built a shepherd. She is unstoppable now. Wasn't there something else back there? I didn't see anything. Um, I was looking around the room. You're up. You're up. Okay. Have a nice trip, Shepard. What the hell? Careful. Dead gun. Got it. Target down. Whoa. Okay. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Yeah. You, who are you? Are you with Miranda? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Best character. All right. It's a good Things shot. Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. Oh, great. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. 
I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. Two years? You've been comatose. Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? No. I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. Fair. We're low on okay. thermal clips. That's fair. But I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Ooh. Engaging target. Okay. Let's see. What's in here? Pull. Yes, I suppose so. Falling back, good. Okay. All right, we're I good. Promise I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Like literally everything. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot here. Okay. Uh, my injuries. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? Uh, bad. I'm no doctor, but it was bad. <laughs> when I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still uh, you. because of the Prothean? You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Uh, and if I know, <laughs> I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Let's see. Yes, what about my crew? Is my crew okay? The last thing I remember is my the children Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? <sighs> Just about everybody survived. Okay. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Oof. But everyone else, including the non alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Nice. Uh, where are they? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. <laughs> it's been two years. They've moved on, left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. We'll get off the station, don't worry. Uh, how about What's you? your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally, I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. So you're rusty. Fantastic. Who's Miranda? When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost you're contact. You're expensive. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. <laughs> Can I be your bottom lieutenant? All right, let's get out of here. It's the quickest way to those shuttles. Depends where the mechs Straight are Straight line. <laughs> it's probably best if we... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. 
answers directly to Miranda. Come on, the service tunnels are this way. All right. I was gonna say you lead, but I guess that's me. You on me? Yep, coming? Okay. Okay. Good, we got ammo. Ready. Woo! You're done! Ah, whoa. Ah. Got it. Spent two years of four billion credits to bring Shepard back to life. How is she alive? I don't know. Science, I guess. Uh, next time, can you shoot at them? Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, who is that? Okay. Oh, God. They found me. Help! Oh, no! Wilson! I'm coming, Wilson. Jacob, Shepard, down here. Hey, yeah. Hey. Bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yes. Yeah. All right. That was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid station on the wall. mouse over the unity button. Oh, okay. There we go. Thanks, Shepard. <laughs> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. Fine. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Oh, that's Weren't fun. you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? <laughs> Doesn't matter, I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. <laughs> Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Where oh, is she? Choice. Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. <laughs> that was like... <laughs> that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... Oh no! We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Next, don't know when to quit. Oh man, they went flying. Mouse over the overload power. Oh, I mean, I don't need to use that. I'm fine. Oh, that's it. Shields and synthetic enemies. Okay. She's either dead or yes. she's alive. Did we got them all? Um, the I really. Uh, sure. Okay, let's let's do it for funsies, I guess. Overload. Through those cans. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we did need to do that. All right. I was like, oh, if it's just for okay, fun. Okay, took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? Maybe. This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you, it's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Okay. Cerberus. Uh. Hmm. I remember Cerberus. Why do you want to save me? <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Yeah. Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. 
I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. That is actually his name. Fantastic. I'll never work for Cerberus. I hear Oz. E elusive man? Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? The yeah, mystery that's man. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I'm going Paragon, so I do have to answer this. <laughs> Tim, the elusive man. Tim is much easier to say. I don't care what they did or what you say. I am not working with terrorists. Oh, it gives you like a whole thing whenever there's a codex update now. Ooh. Plus six Paragon, minus one Metagel. Plus two Metagel. Plus one Metagel. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get the pistol out. I don't know what we're up against here. Oh, hello. Let me take that. Ooh, credits. I just stole from a dead person. Fantastic. I'll do a quick save here. <laughs> Most call me... Tim. <laughs> All right. spotted. Ah, crud. Ah. All right, what are we working with here? So we got him. What don't we have on cooldown? Let's see. Uh, Gravity's one mean mother, huh? Oh, hello. You're Dude, done. don't run in front. Does he say you're done when you shoot him? Because that's the second time he's done that. I hate looters. Ooh, free stuff. What else we got? What else we got? Because I feel like every time... we go. Good job, team. <laughs> A.K.A. me. I did everything. You got some loot or ammo over here? Ooh, personal laptops. Data pad with some credits. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. Many In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, Subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Ooh, fun Despite brain the damage. Of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. All right. Ooh, highlight individual notes to find matching symbols. When you've found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Okay. New puzzle. All right. Highlight individual notes to find matching some. Okay, so it's like a matching game. Okay. Uh, let's try it. No. Nope. Ooh. Know my electrical symbols? I do not. <laughs> okay. Highlight individual notes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Okay, don't start clicking. Oh! Oh, you just hover over it. You have to hover... Okay, that's where I screwed up. Okay, I thought I had to click them to see the symbols. My bad. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, let's try it. Here we go. Fantastic. See? I can do that one. Ooh, I got some credits. Nice. I broke it. <laughs> no trying again. Okay. I do... I came... I guess we gotta go this way. Ooh, thank ya. Much easier than ME1 version. I'm, I do prefer this one much more than the first one. There are two more? Ooh. Okay. 
Please tell me I didn't just come from this direction and I'm now lost. Okay, I'm so I became. Some of them only give you a single chance. Okay. Well, I mean, once I know how to do it, I can do it. But it was just... I usually have to fail it once. Then I figure it out. You know what? I never played Bioshock, so I could not tell you that. <laughs> There's a lot of classic games I just haven't gotten around to playing yet. Unfortunately, one of them's Bioshock. Going in circles is fun. It Come really on. is. I needed to we're reload. The... Make sure I didn't forget Miranda, anything. But you were dead. What the hell are you doing? Ooh. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. <laughs> Oh, I know. I've only heard good things about it. I was just, uh, I was a Frady cat with scary-ish games for a while, so it just... Maybe now I could do it? We'll see, but... <laughs> Wilson! Betrayed us? Due process? Can't question... <laughs> I don't think she cares about questioning him. Um, what happens now? I knew he was lying. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I never knew the man. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? Then we're down I'm a doctor. Never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Let's see. Now you can't question him. Yeah, we'll just we'll say <laughs> this would be hilarious, but let's just say what happens now. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying I'll shoot to the you too. isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, I don't know. Like it's just such a. Before we go, oh, thank you for the resub, Qua. Much appreciated. I don't know. There's just something about the fact of being like talking to somebody who would just shoot somebody in the head who's made up her mind shot somebody in the head is fully convinced that he betrayed him being like well now you can't question him it's just like well duh like i don't know like to me there's just something kind of funny about that it's like yeah captain obvious now you can't question him convenient that you show up as we're leaving where were you during the attack besides trying to save your mm. life Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Okay. So where are we going? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. They wouldn't let me. It's like we've sunk th this many credits into you? Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think they're gonna leave me to rot with the mechs. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Ah, uh, well that's all I can say, so let's go. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's like, now you're awake, I don't care. That's a cute little shuttle. It does feel very stark. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions Ooh, to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. Oh boy, we're it's been five. Two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality. Want to break that threshold, guys? Come on. Ask the questions. Want to turn into lizards? All right, two years? Did you say two years? I've been gone that long. Two years and twelve days, and you were on an operating table for most of it. 
Not very the comfy. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something He's standing up for me. Good for him. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? <laughs> Why did you let him die, Shepard? <laughs> uh, it was a... It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, Aww. I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging I'm not very good at my job. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Yes. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. And if he doesn't, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Why did you betray him, Shepard? Why did you leave him to die? The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Now he can wait. Jacob! I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. So elusive. <laughs> I want to pick the other one. <laughs> hey, I had a tough call to make. I made it. I'm living with it. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. So I've heard. Ooh. Casual appearance. Actually, the armor looks cooler. Type? Helmet. Oh, I can run around with my helmet on? Oh. Oh. Neat. Okay. I do like without. Another shot guessing the elusive man's actor. cool outfits but don't use helmets yeah i mean some of the helmets look cool i wouldn't wear it running around the suit looks cool though i really like it i miss my shiny red and black one though from the end of the first one i can tell it looks great arms okay so i imagine at some point i can change Ooh, material problems when you talk to people. Yeah, that's, I can see that. Tear. Ooh, I can pick how shiny it is? Here. Interesting. Yeah, the face looks a bit better. Lots been changed from one to two. Okay. Resalt that. I mean, you gotta see your shepherd. I mean, come on. Ooh, how shiny do we want it? do like shiny. <laughs> I don't know. I like it shiny. Mm. Yeah, we'll go shiny. Tint? <gasps> we can change the color. <gasps> oh my god. Tint 2? What is that? Oh, it's the highlights. <gasps> oh my gosh. Pick a casual outfit. No, I haven't. I'm I'm just working on the armor right now. I haven't even gotten to the casual appearance yet. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to be lingering here for just a for a titch. Pattern. Oh. Okay. I like this one. This one looks cool. Pattern color. <gasps> oh, I'll try not to just cuz I know it's like we we got stuff we want to do here. Oh. Okay. I did like the red, but blue's always been my favorite color. So I'm at I'm at a bit of a bit of an impasse. Like this looks cool. You can change these later on if you change your mind. Ah, okay. So actually, let me see. No. No, I like uh I like the black with the blue. What about with the tint? Ooh. The white. 
The white looks neat. What else we got here? Uh, the dark blue with it looks kind of neat. I like the sports bra pattern. It looks nice. I like it. <laughs> you know what? We'll go with this. I might, I might alternate between this and red because I do like the red as well. Okay. We won't linger. I could be here all day. But okay, so not much in the way for casual gold. <gasps> oh, that looks so... Because at first I saw this and I was like, yeah, I remember this outfit. It's okay. It's like this. This is legit. Vanguard. Let's see. What else we got? What else we... <gasps> I can wear a dress. Not that I'm a dressy kind of person, but it's like, what? They actually gave her a dress? Oh, I just wait? Okay. I, you know what? I do, I do like casual sweater. Shep. This is pretty cool. What else we got? Okay. All right. This is getting like Liara vibes from this. The hoodie's pretty cool. I would wear that hoodie. Mmm... Ooh, all right. I don't mind this. I don't like the brown. The brown, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've, I've got brown hair. It's like, uh... Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's, it's like what Chakwas wears. I do really like this. I do really like this one. Here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with this one. I'm, I'm like debating it. It's just like, uh, just make a call and move on. But it's just like, I really like this one. I don't know. Like, it's, I'm not going to go for super cash right now because I am meeting with the elusive man. But I do like this one. Wait, can I pick what I'm wearing right now sort of thing? Okay. No, okay. So I'm just in armor, armor right now. Okay from Met Gala to coaching your kid's soccer team. I mean, Shepard is the woman that can do it all. Meet him in your armor. Okay. I show up with my dress. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can guess. Because he is familiar. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Dang, who is that? <laughs> man, the guessing game is going to be eternal with this series. I just know it is. Like, I know it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, who is that? Okay. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory is still intact. How are you feeling? I know that's a clue. Unfortunately, it is just uh, not registering with the noggin right now. <sighs> yeah, you're not my you're not my friend. Oh, I believe you it is. I'm just saying that it's like, uh, I'm not, it, it's not clicking for me. I'm sure it's a great clue. I'm clueless. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I will freely admit. Mr. President. Wasn't his line though. Okay. Bill Pullman? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire okay. colonies <laughs> have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. 
You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. There's, there's been so many presidents. <laughs> In in media and in real life, I suppose. But uh, let's see. Small. Answer some of my questions, sir. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. And I certainly did not help things. It's not Morgan Freeman. Oh, okay. That was going to be my next guess, for sure. <laughs> okay, what about these abductions? Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> that, that was not my intention. Fighting a war doesn't seem oh, like whoops. We're committed. If, the re if we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, moved it around. no more human colonies will be left. What about Bill Pullman, Morgan Freeman, Harrison Ford, who's next? Oh my god. He played in Uncle Ben. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to remember. Goodness. I'm drawing a blank, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You are an army, Shepard. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. It's just unfortunately, it's like now I'm like scouring like my mental uh, database and I'm just like, who played Uncle Ben? <laughs> Throwing off a building in a movie, goodness. I... I'm sorry, guys. I'm biffing the guessing game tonight. I will get this. I will get this. It's a semi-vilified -vil sign. Is it she? Is it a sheen? Is it Martin Sheen? If I'm remembering correctly, it is. Ha ha. All right. I was just like, it... there we go. All right. <laughs> they, you guys gave me a mountain of clues. It's embarrassing. It took as many as it took for me to guess it. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> That's why I was just like, part of me was like, I'm like, this sounds like Martin Sheen, but it was just like, I knew what it sounded like, but I couldn't place the name. I could picture him. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Okay, he's not- that's it. If he was in Star Trek, I may have guessed it, but... <laughs> just because that's what I've been watching recently. Alright, Alliance- it, yes, has the Alliance been helping out at all? <laughs> if this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Oh, whoopsie, Their rebuilding that's my bad. still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. Oh, well then I'll, I'll just lie and if say you thanks. accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready okay. to take you to Freedom's Progress, Hold the me latest to colony it. to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Yeah, now it Jacob's does really soldier, look like him now that one I'm of the looking. best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. It is weird seeing this future and he's smoking a cigarette. 
Like, that is, that feels like a very antiquated thing to do. I don't know, maybe it's just, like, the aesthetic. The horror of the heart. Oh, Apocalypse Now. Yes. Now in hindsight, yes. Thank you for the reminder. Is this a volunteer job or am I mean, I they are. volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for. Yeah. We can like, the features later. look like they were but trying first, to go for that. Go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Get out of here. Very elusive indeed. Ooh, got some, uh... Got some new doohickeys, journals and things. Squad to spend squad points. <gasps> How many do I have to upgrade your powers with squad points? Yeah, click on click purchase. Okay. Oh, that makes sense then. Okay. More points, you can unlock new conversation options. Yes, I can be charming. That's all I've got? Purchase rank auto level up. Okay, so I'm working on Paragon here. I'm doing okay. So I got six. Let's see, incendiary am ammo. Did <laughs> I gotta retry? Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, basically, apparently, assault mastery. Do I see the weapon system? Oh boy. Is it do you mean it's just as simple or it's worse? <laughs> Run. Targets, get that. Um, get another one. Least favorite power set. I will say I didn't have a problem with how the last game was in terms of like leveling up. Uh, salt mastery, I definitely want. Oh, oh, I'm out. <gasps> oh, that's the cost. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Okay. One cost two. Okay. Whoopsie. All right. Well, that's what we're working with. We'll get more points. We're good. Okay. So codex. Ooh, I've got a lot here. The Asari were the first species to discover oh, the citadel. Be... I've admittedly I have read slash been read to a lot of those, so I will I will worry about that in my own time. Oh, they learned. That's the important thing. I am surprised by how much has changed already between the two. Uh, hey, Miranda. The elusive man is very oh, is impressed okay. with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations Expanded on this mission. upon an alien sex. <laughs> they knew what I was looking for in this one. All right, RPG elements of ME1 have been greatly reduced for this one. Okay. As far as gameplay. who's in charge is that supposed to be like a like a flex it's just like it's me shepherd <laughs> thanks for resurrecting me yeah. i can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there i know who i report to as long as you don't do anything to betray cerberus i'll follow your orders I never got a chance to say how much i appreciated with the Lazarus but saying that thank me. you <laughs> i just hope it was worth it a lot of people lost their lives on that station we have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Hmm. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Fun. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. Like? Like what? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. <laughs> But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. 
He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Hmm. That's interesting. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is yeah, taking an incredible honest. risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off mm. at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not, I'm not looking one. for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. <laughs> oh, the, the creative camera angle. So I imagine those have been changed a bit for, uh, for this version of the game. Alright, uh, nothing else to say, so, uh, goodbye. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. Okay. <laughs> They're just like, less butts, and it's like, aww. But I'm butts. glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You know what? I do, Jacob. I just met you, but I trust you. Wilson, I wasn't too sure about, but you? I like you. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. It's a fountain of knowledge in this room. <laughs> you said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Hmm. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. It's like Spectre. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Hmm. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making it, it a difference. It really is, honestly. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. We just get it done. It's true, Freedom's Progress is a very, like, America name. Okay, well, That's goodbye, Jacob. Yes, ma'am. Got our Paragon points. Hello, busy people. Well, I can't talk to you, so I uh, guess we'll go this way. Ooh. Okay, this is different. Okay. Level earned, four. Squad points gained, two. Mission complete, level up, mission summary. Oh! Okay. New end of mission screen. Yeah, I'm like, this is, this is different. Okay. Healer and loss. How each teams will ensure no incriminating data survived. Per Miranda's recommendation, I'm running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole, regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. It see it, it does. I was trying to put my finger on it on exactly like what made it different from the first one. It's like this does feel more like chapter end. Bonuses for importing a level fifty three character. Got a lot of credits. Element zero, iridium, palladium, platinum, paragon, nineteen renegade. That's what I got going into it. I got a cool heavy weapon. I got my grenade launcher. And I got some credits. Look at that. I made some money. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Uh. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. 
No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear, and we've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead oh, just does to second it? guess you, Commander. Interesting. If the elusive okay. man says you're in charge, you're in charge. I guess I'll see how I feel about that, because that was something I did quite enjoy, was like the sandbox aspect of the first one. So it might take some adjusting with this one, but if it means, I don't want to say a stronger narrative, but if it means like a more focused narrative, I'm fine with that. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Still a lot of choice? Perfect. Then I'm down. Call me invested. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find some. the first ones there. Anything's though. better than another ghost town. Less driving around in the Mako, I'm assuming. Less uh, aimless, bouncing around. It's not a bad thing. Okay. No Mako. There's no Mako. Interesting. Okay. Here, because now I've got to upgrade my squad, don't I? No driving, no Mako. Oof. Cerberus operative. All right, let's uh, purchase that. Hull. Mako died. <laughs> I'll give him a little bit of everything. I got one left. It's gonna cost two squad points, so. Yeah, can't. Can't get any of those. How about Miranda? <laughs> spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers, guys, remember. Ah, uh, yes, we need to bring back the Mako. We can revive her. Let's see, so we got Overload, we got Warp. We'll give her the Cerberus Officer, for sure. And... Let's give her... Let's give her some Warp. Actually, mm, Three. Yeah, this, uh, this cost system's gonna take some getting used to. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, Gabsby. I hope you have a good night. All right, we'll leave it at that. I mean, you said it, not me. Okay, we'll give it a quick save. And, yeah, weapons-wise. Oh, that's how you change it up. Okay, got the shotgun, machine pistol. Grenade launcher. Okay. I'm gonna keep it on, uh... Pistol, cause, uh... Ooh! Looks like everyone just got left. Dodgy lights. Don't like it. I don't need any spoopiness. It's after Halloween. Apparently. <laughs> Dead space? Okay. Alright, we're good. Everybody, everybody's keeping close, okay? Everybody's doing good. Oh, this looks like a combat area. Strange. No bodies and some destructive damage. No, oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Why would you say that? Just bursts up through the floor. God, get that grenade launcher back out. Woohoo! Strange. Security systems were disabled at the other colonies. He goes. About that one. Ah. One less. There we go. Oh, there's more. Shoot them before they take out the shields. Oop, okay. Ooh, I'm damaged a bit. Uh, let's see. Give him a pull. Trouble what ahead. the hell 
on side. Ooh hoo hoo. Alright, that is, uh, that's coming out. Here we go! Oh, jeez. Get over here! Oh, good. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. Oof. They should have recognized us as human. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the gold. All right. Uh, how am I doing health-wise here? Okay. How am I? Yeah, I got to eat. Where's my health bar? I'm assuming. I'll... Do I have auto regen health at this point? Yeah. Do a quick save. Yeah, don't like the robo doggos. Oh, no med kits. Okay. There was a med or yeah, there was, but I think that's more for like unity, I guess. Overload's very useful. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll try and remember to do that. Meta gels for revives. Okay. Uh ooh, we got some stuff. Alright, let's give it a go. Here we go. Okay. I think cuz I think I remember you guys mentioning that. It's like oh in 2 you don't have to worry so much about the med kits because you'll uh, auto regen health, which is They've seen us. Oh. Combat system Get over here. Requesting assistance. Target down. There we go. Got the dog. Good job, team. Get those parts, get those credits. Anything else over this way? Don't think so. Just trying to keep an eye out for any am ammo. That's the good stuff. Hello. Stop right there. Praza, you said you'd let me handle <gasps> Wait. Yeah. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Yeah. Is that you're alive? Yeah, okay, so it is more critical use cover. I'll try and remember. <laughs> You're alive? It's me! Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. I nearly died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soldier. And yet... You haven't seen Shepard in action, Praza. Trust me. It was money well spent. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Hmm. Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. Aww. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. Oh, we suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. That's him! Oh, jeez. Okay. Vitor is the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Yes. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. So if you didn't do that Geth mission on those five planets in ME1... He wouldn't have been given that option. Interesting. Huh. Talia, she's in charge. Oh, sure, yeah, I'll follow orders. We're good. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, 
infiltrated our flotilla and tried to blow up one of our ships. Yeah, that'll That's do not it. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. It's, uh, it's getting a little complicated. Getting complicated here. Okay, anything else? 11 Paragon points, okay. Hmm. Is that, is that me? Cause that kind of looks like my little, my little floating skeleton there. War crime. <laughs> Woohoo! Hello! There they are! Uh, what can we do about those? Let's see. Ooh, um, I don't know if I can do that when I'm- when they're in the air, though. I can give it a try, but... Here, yeah, we'll do that. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of Oh! <laughs> Where'd they go? Did I blast them before they even started? Okay. D did I just blow them up? Is that what just happened? I thought maybe it just like it just like glitched for a second and they like flew off. <laughs> did I just take care of them? Okay. Uh no? Okay. Alright. Make activity. Ooh, hello. Excuse me. Ah, I've got no shield! Okay. Good. We're good. There, we got shields. Okay. They flew away. Okay, you'll catch them. <laughs> I'll get them next time. All right, let's give it a go. See, see. There we go. Pointing up. Pointing up. There we go. 2,000 credits. Thank you. What else? Can I get some water? What else we got here? Use overload on them. <clears throat> yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go! Yeah. One left! Yeah, what's the reload on those? Okay, so we got two. Cool down. Enemy down! Alright, we're good. Ooh, hello! I know, that was really close. Shepard, Rosa and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. Oh, great. They want to find Vitor and you take okay? him away before you get here. We should have expected. We can still catch them. All right, we'll try. Ooh, I will take that. My excellent dodging skills. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it was the door prompt. Okay, I thought there was something else. Okay, I'll, I'll make more of a note to do that. Apologies, guys. I'm still used to just having the trigger finger. Program the heavy mech. It's tearing Fraza's squad apart. Oh, jeez. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the door. Check if you take point. It's Q and E to send your people. Okay, so Q and E. Heading to cover. Here we go. Hey, 
And there they go. Ooh. Uh. Holy crap. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Okay. What are we working with here? Okay. <laughs> Thank you! Uh, would overload be useful in this situation? <laughs> Let's give it a try. Should I change to the, the grenade launcher? Give this a go. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Their shields. And let's switch back. <laughs> let's see, we got the shotgun, we got the machine, small heavy pistol. Okay. Oop, we're she's good to do it again. And let's see. Shields. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah, am I focused on him? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've got him. <gasps> Ooh, hello. <laughs> oh crap. All right. Cindy, Amy. Incendiary ammo fire is good against armor. Okay. I should probably be using that. Alright. Can he... Ooh. Oh boy. And he's down. Unity. Alright. Is that still on cooldown? Protected by armor. Okay. About to get hot. All right. Go team. <laughs> Warp is also good for armor. Okay. I will try. I do appreciate the tips. I, I apologize if I don't follow them in the moment. I'm going to try and make it a point to remember to follow those. Okay, but, um. Let's see. Where's, uh, where's Miranda? Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, anything else around? Friendo. You in here? Ooh, heavy weapon ammo. Yeah, that's true. It is only session one. Gotta save. Each ability weapon ammo is better for you. Matter of learning. Okay, it's gonna take some getting used to for me. Nope. <laughs> I probably just wasted some ammo there, but that's okay. We'll live. Okay. Circle. 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 Top down. There we go. Enemies get progressively easier the longer you play. Heavies remain a threat right up till the end. Okay. I mean, it's it's there in the name. That's totally understandable. Heavies are always gonna cause some problems. Just goes right through them. Hello, what do you We can got? use this! Ooh, heavy weapon ammo. Hey, buddy. Monster's coming back. Mechs will protect, safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. No, 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 no. Hey, buddy. Vitor? Y you doing no, Vitor. okay? Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide, have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm oh, coming. Right, mouse button Storm to of swarms. Okay. No escape. No hope. 
can't hide forever. Monsters will find you. Swarm oh. will find you. Here, one sec. Sorry. Hey, I'm here to protect you. I won't let the monsters get you, I promise. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. This time. Storm coming. To click the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Human, where did you hide? Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms, they took everyone. See, I didn't know if it was something I had to be like co pressing like continuously, if I only had to press it once. I'm, I'm still figuring it out a little bit. There are renegade ones too. Okay, I don't want to do those ones in this playthrough. <laughs> Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? Interrupts? Oh, okay. You don't know. Like prompts. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? Are they? <laughs> I'm playing My a Paragon God. playthrough. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Yeah, they might be behind some of this. Oh, two Renegade the Interrupts? Okay. Swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Nope, you gotta be paying attention. Why didn't the I thought I could chill in cutscenes. Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Hmm. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Maybe. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. Hmm. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. Tell me oh. more about this. It's how they shoot. find you. They go everywhere. Sounds like miniature probes, I maybe. I meant to click that find one. Find victims, then immobilize I want to know more them. about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. He knows everything. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Ooh. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. I don't Your know that. Your people tried to betray <laughs> us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Ooh. See if uh, Tally wants to join us. I'd love to have Tally there. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. Aww. When it's over, even and for I'm me. still alive. We'll see what happens. Yeah, what's the mission? That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? None of your I don't business. think Cerberus needs to hear about nah. it. Yeah. But it's in Geth space. Ooh. That should tell you how important it is. That is important. Um ooh. This is a call. So I like Tally. I don't want to force him to come with us. Uh, he's got data we need, though. Hmm. Oh, 
I gonna pick my friends over over Cerberus? I mean, I I don't know if he really has any more. I don't. Uh... No, I'm gonna say he goes with Tally. I don't know. This this feels like a Paragon thing. I'm choosing Tally. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I, I still find have a heart, help, maybe I'll let you know. Maybe it's a, a robot heart. I don't pickup. know. <laughs> yep, I I call the shots, for better or for worse. <laughs> I like Tally. Shepherd, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Nah. Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as yeah, a Yeah, I don't know if I could love but more myself if I did that. You confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens usually in exchange for their technology. Hmm. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Okay, what about this Omega-4 relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Nothing. Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Ooh, fine. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Hmm... That is a good question. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. Hmm. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. I wonder if they're trying to find somebody who's like Shepard. That's my guess. Uh, so what aren't you telling me? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? They're always involved. The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't it's wait never until the easy. Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Ooh, well, I got some interesting choices here. I had, I did have a good team. I liked my team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Ooh, now we get a follow-ups on each of them. Yes. Okay, Ashley. Let's start with Ashley. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Hmm. <laughs> I know! It's like, those are my buddies! I went on fun little missions. We had little chit-chat sessions together. Okay, Rex. What's going on with Rex? Yeah, has Liara moved on? <gasps> has she found someone else? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Oh, good for him! Tally. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. 
I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, interesting. Okay, Garrus. What's going on with Garrus? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Interesting. Okay, and I have to ask about my girlfriend. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Ooh, Liara. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. Yeah, doubt If you that. think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Hmm. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up yeah? to you. Yeah? <laughs> I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. <sighs> That's my boy. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Wow. Who's talking? I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. Oh. The team was broken up, record sealed. I don't I remember grounded. him. <laughs> the Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Severus. I'll try my best really to follow my gut. <laughs> And well, try not to second guess myself. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. <laughs> Don't break his legs. The Normandy? New Normandy? I mean, who doesn't want pizza? My ship. The Newmandy. Is that where a lot of those credits went? <laughs> it's like, cost billions to get you back to life. Another couple billion at least to get it's this shit. Huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. They're proud of their ship. Yeah, ah. <laughs> Is the layout going to be the same? That's my question. Or is it going to be new ship, new layout? Off we fly. Oh, it's very different. Okay. It is bigger. Oh boy, I'm going to get lost. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Look at that. The summary. Heavy weapon ammo. And we got some credits. <laughs> so much room for activities. Alright. It's looking fairly familiar. Oh, I've got my casual wear. Oh, oh they got rid of the elevator? so big and open and there's like nobody here <laughs> got like six people welcome aboard the new normandy commander i've been looking over the dossiers oh, okay. i strongly recommend starting by acquiring morden solus the salarian professor on omega we know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims we'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us all right and without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Oh, okay. Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? 
I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Okay. Artificial intelligence. Mm hmm. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them, especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Six? Because I was almost going to say she almost sounds a little bit like Jerry Ryan. I don't know why. Just, it, I was just... It, let's see. This is nothing more. Okay. Anyone else I should meet? <laughs> I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us okay. if you have any questions. Ah, wrong one? Okay. It might be from one I'm not familiar with, potentially. Six. Okay. Galaxy map. Use a galaxy map. Use your private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Okay, useful. Okay. It's like weapons in your squad from the armory. Okay. Use the elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Alright. Personal cabin to customize your appearance. Tech lab. Require the professor to re research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Alright. We're working on that. All right, let's 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 get a feel for this new ship here. Okay. Assemble a team. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a biggie, for sure. Oh my goodness, look at all these little up these little pop-ups here. Talk to Joker in a second once these finish. Upgrades are messing with our inertial skew, compensating. All right, so first I want to do some squad upgrades here. Let's see, so I've got two squad points, which gets me, I can get cryo ammo. Yeah, because otherwise, oh, no, I can, that's two. Yeah, because that'll cost four. Okay. <laughs> hey, he's working here. Homicidal alien. Okay. Salt mastery. No, I do like cry cryo ammo. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to get that. Um, uh, mm, charge. Yeah, I'm going to get the cryo ammo. And I'll save that last point. Go. Journal. Let's take a look here. Missions. Stop the collectors. Assemble a team. Oh goodness, I've got so many. Master collector. Okay. Also played a role in Lucifer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll be curious. I I might need to do research on this one. It just the bread and butter skill for being I know but I want the cryo rounds once I get some more points I'll put them more into charge I promise let's see master thief let me go to filtration skilled hacker operates completely off the grid she's a famous thief in the galaxy she's the best trained in the arts of stealth and infiltration she has acquired artifacts and information from all over the galaxy and yet maintains a completely clean criminal record she is awaiting rendezvous with shepherd on the citadel in the zakara ward okay the veteran zaid masani expert in both personal and small unit combat Unpar unparalleled mercenary ro soldier. Goodness, I can't read tonight. Apologies, guys. And bounty hunter, known for a willingness to get the job done no matter the cost. 
Zaid Masani is without a doubt the most feared mercenary and bounty hunter in the galaxy. His services have been retained by Cerberus at extremely high cost. He's currently awaiting pickup on Omega. So we gotta go to Omega for a couple of people, I guess. While they were never completely supportive before, it may still be worth contacting the council and informing them of recent events. I mean, I can try. Oh, are they? Oh! Interesting. Okay. So they are included in this one because it's the legendary edition. Okay. Dr. Morden Solis. That's who I need to see. Biological weapon expert. Light weapons training with Solarian special task group. Okay. Oh, Solarian. Dr. Morden Solis is a Solarian biological weapons expert whose technology may hold the key to countering collector attacks. He's currently operating a medical clinic in the slums of Omega. Okay, so that's now two people in Omega I've got to see. Character relationships and story missions. Ooh, I love that. Oh, I'm excited now. I'm super excited. Dr. O'Kir, millennia of combat and strategic experience. Millennia? Rumored familiarity with collector technology. A brilliant and brutal Krogan warlord who fought in the Krogan rebellions, Dr. O'Kir has become obsessed with saving the Krogan people from the genophage and is believed to have contacted the collectors in an attempt to gain technology to that end. He's currently in a Blue Suns camp on Corliss, though the nature of his relationship with the mercenary group is unknown. Interesting. Further. A lot further along. The squad screen? Okay. Millennium Room. Krogan live. Oh, that's true, yes. I forgot that Krogan's lived for a long time. It's just like without any like frame of reference, it's like millennia of combat. It's just like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Archangel, small unit tactical expertise, omni tool expert, and noted sniper. Archangel is a mercenary commander whose operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He is responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega and can likely be found there. Okay, so a couple people on Omega we gotta check out. The convict, ooh. Jack, no last name known. <laughs> Real last name, Smith. <laughs> Exceptional biotic ability. Note, criminal background currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available, except that the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the prisoner's release. Ooh, interesting. Like Jack. Okay. Let's see. Freedom's progress. Okay, so we got we got some stuff we gotta do. Project Firewalker, Rosalie Lost. Cerberus' Project Firewalker has reported that a survey ship has gone missing near the planet Ziona. The ship was carrying researchers in a prototype planet side exploration vehicle when it went missing. Cerberus has asked that the vehicle be recovered and that any signs as to the whereabouts of the researchers be reported. Interesting. Alliance has found the wreckage of the SSV Normandy on the planet Alcara. Ooh, they asked that a monument be placed on the site and any sign of the remaining 20 missing crew members recovered. The old Normandy? Oh, The old one. It's getting a nice little statue and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna need more squad points in order to upgrade that. Uh, so let's do some chit chat. Let's see how everybody's doing. Oh, it's DLC too. Okay. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. <laughs> and leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. That's mean. <laughs> Crap ton is an official term. Okay. So long as they know. Oop. Yep. I hope you did well on your quiz. That's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. 
I have to take what I can get. The last two Was years. Was it really? So... That's hilarious. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. God, you are such a downer. <laughs> I hope so. I died. What the hell, Shepard? Yes, Shepard. Uh, okay. Weapons and armor sets. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, let's talk about you. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? You and Joker, what's that about? <laughs> How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. That's a weird question to ask, but okay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the Show records off. of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. Mm. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Ooh. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Useful. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields. Or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own fleet of I jammers, want to know too. decoys, and internal firewalls. All right. Uh, I know the answer, but why the monitoring devices? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. Yeah. He has an interest in I wonder that too. Progress. All right, uh, what about additional functions? Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. Hmm. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Hmm. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I have nothing, oh, um, yeah, let's talk about you. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Oh, um, here, no. Let's discuss something else. <laughs> Let's just keep Ready. talking in circles. Tell me about Cerberus. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Mm. Yeah, I'm sure. He... <laughs> I mean, the risk is definitely there. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Everything. I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Of course. Um, yeah. what do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. I find it funny how she's like that honest where it's like, I can't tell you the truth of these things. It's like, oh, does that mean you can lie to me? How is Cerberus organized? Aside yeah, from no kidding, man, Skynet. I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Okay. Yeah, how many cells are there? So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents of me course. from answering that question. Uh, of course. Uh, how about building the Normandy? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy it was without easy. anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Of course, she can't tell me anything. Uh, anything Let's discuss else? Let's something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors. I'm testing her, I know what the bridge is. The yeah, sitting right here, thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, so unfortunately we have hit time, but we still have more of the ship to discover and explore a little bit. We've also got some missions to get some new crew members aboard. I I have to say I do really miss my old uh, my old squad. I really do. Maybe maybe these new people are gonna be okay. 
I, I know some of them, my old crew, are going to show up. I don't know under what circumstances, but I'm curious to see uh, where we go from here. Yes. More exploring here. Just for safety. For safety. Yep. We'll just overwrite it. There. I'm sure I will. Like, it's already the new ones. Like, uh, Jacob's cool. I like Jacob. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for this first little step into Mass Effect 2. I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here. We're going to be picking things up on Monday at 7.30. Twitter down below is going to have all the details on that. If anything changes between now and then, Twitter will have those details as well. And if you're looking for some stuff to watch in the meantime, got my YouTube channel linked here as well. It's got some old VODs, including my Mass Effect 1 uh, playthrough, which is still getting updated. The finale is going to be coming up very soon, so if you missed it, the VOD should maybe still be here on Twitch. I'm not sure, but it will be over on YouTube. Got other playthroughs and all kinds of other fun stuff there. Until then, guys, I hope you have a lovely rest of your night and a lovely rest of your, your week and your weekend. I keep forgetting what day of the week it is. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on Monday for some more Mass Effect 2. Until then, see ya. Have a good one.